When you initially set up your Equid store, you likely set up a shipping method to get your products out to your customers. Now you need to decide where you're going to be able to ship these products. By definition, destination zones are the areas to which you offer delivery and shipping or pickup for your products. And that's really the key to getting the most out of shipping with your Equid store. By default, whenever you add a shipping method, the shipping method is applied to all destinations. That's global. Now you might have multiple shipping methods. And so Equid makes it easy to set up zones based on the destinations to which you ship. Let's go ahead and update our USPS shipping method to use just a subset of the global settings. I'm going to click on advanced settings and you'll note out of the box Equid gives us United States, US and Canada, Europe and Massachusetts. Now, Of course this list might be different depending on where you are in the world. If none of those actually work for me, I'm going to say for instance, for USPS I only want to ship to a certain number of states or zip codes. We can create zones based on any of those. So I'm going to save this shipping method and click create new zone. Here on the left are the four zones that have been set up for me. And just for example, I want to use USPS to ship only to Indiana, Ohio, and Kentucky. I live in Indiana. It's a tri-state region and that makes a lot of sense to me. Of course, you can make up your own zones any way you want and I'll demonstrate that in just a moment. I'm going to click add new zone and I'm going to call this the Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana tri-state. I'm going to add a country because it's how we select our states and I'll just filter by United. It's going to automatically filter for me. I don't need to press enter or anything and I'm going to select United States. Now I can do this one of two ways. I can click the plus symbol here on the right or I can just select it in the box and click add countries. Now I'll add my states. Click add state, find Indiana, Kentucky, and Ohio, and click add states. All right, so now I have a region called the Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana tri-state. I'm gonna click save. Now all I need to do is go back, scroll down, under advanced settings, select the zone I just created. Click save. And now this particular version of USPS will only ship to Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana with no markup. What does that look like in my store? Well, when I'm ready to check out, the only three states I can choose are Indiana, Kentucky, and Ohio. Now, of course, that's not going to work for the rest of the world. So let's talk about a different way to add regions. I'm going to go back to my store. Now, once again, you can only assign a shipping option to one zone. So the zones you create must be all inclusive for that shipping option. I'm going to click on manage zones. In addition to selecting states and regions, you can narrow those regions down to specific zip codes. So if I wanted to ship only to my hometown in the state of Indiana, I would add 47018. If I wanted to ship only to the Cincinnati, Ohio area, I would enter 452 and a star on a new line because the zip codes around Cincinnati, Ohio start with 452. And you'll notice we can use question marks and asterisks as wildcard symbols. Now, an important point here, if you enter any zip codes at all, you must enter a zip code for all of the areas in the regions that you've added. So for instance here, if I don't add sections of Kentucky, a customer from Kentucky will not be able to receive shipping because adding zip codes actually narrows the selection down from the regions you've chosen. So if I wanted to ship only to Louisville, Kentucky, I would put 402 star. And now I have shipping to my hometown in Indiana, the Cincinnati, Ohio area, and the Louisville, Kentucky area. In order to use zip codes for this kind of targeted shipping, you must select the states and then filter or narrow the search by the zip codes. All right, let's go check that out. 
If I click on the state dropdown, I can choose Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio. So far, so good. If I put in a valid zip code in the state of Indiana, but it's not one of the ones I've added to filter and I click continue, well, then I get a no shipping options response. If I choose the state of Ohio and I enter a valid zip code for the city of Cincinnati, well, I'm going to click continue and I get my shipping options. Similarly, if I click on Kentucky and I enter a valid zip code for the city of Louisville, well then, again, it's going to take me to my shipping options. Well, you probably get the idea. You want to make sure that whatever shipping option you're using can ship to the zones that you want to use for that shipping option.